Have you ever considered how anger affects your relationships? Anger is an emotion we all experience in our day-to-day -day lives. It's a universal sensation, present everywhere from bustling city streets to tranquil country lanes. Yet have you ever pondered importantly its impact on your personal relationships? Anger, like a gathering storm within, can build and unleash a destructive force if left unchecked. It can turn harmonious relationships into rifts of and solitude. Imagine a close friend forgetting an important date. It's easy to let anger affect your reaction. You feel slighted, ignored, and your reaction is anger. But in doing so, you're not just expressing disappointment. You're damaging the foundation your friendship, letting anger drive a wedge between you and those you care about. Unchecked anger is a silent destroyer, slowly eating away at the fabric of our relationships until we're left wondering where it went wrong. The real enemy is unchecked and uncontrolled anger, allowed to grow until it consumes us. As we embark on this journey of understanding, let's let's face the uncomfortable and examine how anger manifests in our lives and relationships. Let's delve deeper how anger manifests in real-life situations. Consider the case of John and Sarah, a couple whose relationship was severely impacted by uncontrolled anger. John and Sarah were the picture of a perfect couple, deeply in love and seemingly invincible. However, as time went on, anger began to creep into their relationship, like a thief in the night. It started subtly, with small disagreements that quickly escalated into heated arguments. These bouts of anger were like a wildfire, consuming the love and respect they had for each other. Sarah was a fiery spirit, and her temper often flared up. She would lash out at John, her words sharp as knives, cutting deep into his self-esteem. She didn't mean to hurt him, but in the heat of the moment, her anger took control, transforming her into someone she hardly recognized. John, on the other hand, was a quiet storm. His anger simmered beneath the surface, building up over time until it exploded in a burst of fury. These outbursts left Sarah emotionally bruised, causing her retreat into her shell, creating a chasm between them. The frequent arguments took a toll on their emotional health. They both both lived in constant stress, a ticking time bomb, always on the verge of another explosion. The joy they once found in each other's company was replaced by dread, the anticipation of the next argument hanging over them like a dark cloud. Their relationship, once a haven of love and understanding, had become a battlefield. The fights grew more frequent, the words harsher, and the apologies fewer. The emotional distress was too much to bear, and eventually, the relationship that had once been there their safe haven crumbled under the weight of uncontrolled anger. In the end, what was left were the ruins of a relationship that could have thrived had they learned to manage their anger. They were left with regrets, what-ifs, and the painful memory of a love that was destroyed by anger. John and Sarah's story is sadly not unique. Let's look at another example. For professional advice on managing and understanding anger, feel free to contact me via the email provided in the description. Before we delve into the path to anger management, let's take a moment to understand the deep-seated consequences of unchecked anger. Uncontrolled anger doesn't just ruin relationships or lead to isolation, it can also have serious implications on your physical and mental health. It's like a poison seeping into your life, causing stress, anxiety, and even leading to conditions like heart disease and depression. It's a destructive force that can cloud your judgment, leading to impulsive and regrettable decisions. It can affect your performance at work, your relationships, and your overall quality of life. Moreover, anger doesn't just affect you. It's like a ripple in a pond, affecting everyone around you. It can create a hostile environment, making it difficult for others to communicate with you or feel comfortable in your presence. It's a domino effect, where your anger can lead to others feeling angry or upset, leading to a cycle of negativity. It's important to remember that anger in itself isn't bad. It's a natural human emotion, and it's okay to feel angry. What's not okay is when that anger is uncontrolled and causes harm to you or the people around you. Understanding the consequences of uncontrolled anger is the first step towards managing it. 
Stay with us as we explore the path to anger management. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more insightful content like this. Scene Script Meet Emily, a young woman whose anger pushed away her friends and family. Emily, like many of us, experienced anger. But for Emily, anger was not just an occasional visitor, it was a permanent resident, a constant companion. It was a force that controlled her life, dictating her actions and responses, creating a wall between her and the world. Emily's anger was like a wild untamed beast. It would awaken at the slightest provocation, roaring and thrashing causing chaos. It was an unpredictable storm that would sweep in without warning, leaving destruction in its wake. It was a fire that burned bridges, severing connections, and leaving Emily isolated and alone. Her friends began to drift away, unable to withstand the constant onslaught of Emily's fury. They sought shelter from her tempest, finding solace in the company of others who did not carry such a volatile storm within them. Her family, though they loved her, found themselves retreating, creating a safe distance from Emily's wrath. They were caught in the crossfire of her anger too often, and it wore them down. It was a painful decision, but one they felt compelled to make for their own well-being. And so, Emily found herself alone. Her anger, which had once made her feel powerful and invincible, now left her isolated and vulnerable. She was trapped within the walls of her own anger, a prisoner of her own emotions. The pain of this isolation was immense, a stark contrast to the fiery rage that had once consumed her. But Emily's story is not just a tale of anger and isolation. It is a cautionary tale, a stark reminder of the destructive power of unmanaged anger. It shows us the potential consequences of allowing anger to take control, of letting it dictate our actions and responses. The destructive power of anger is evident in Emily's story. Now let's explore how we can begin to manage this powerful emotion. Managing anger is not about suppression, but about understanding and redirection. Anger, like any other emotion, is a natural part of the human experience, and it's not something we should strive to eliminate entirely. Instead, the goal is to manage it effectively, to keep it from controlling us. One of the most effective strategies for anger management is recognizing your triggers. What are the situations, the words, the people that set off your anger? Identifying these can help you anticipate your reactions and make a conscious choice about how to respond. It's about taking a step back, examining your feelings, and choosing a response rather than reacting impulsively. Another powerful tool is practicing mindfulness. It's the art of being present in the moment, of observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment. When we're angry, it's easy to get swept up in the heat of the moment, to let our thoughts race ahead of us. But mindfulness encourages us to slow down, to take a breath, and to really consider what we're feeling. And let's not forget the importance of seeking professional help, if necessary. There's no shame in reaching out to a therapist or counselor, someone trained to help you navigate your emotions. They can provide you with more personalized strategies and tools, and offer a safe space for you to express and explore your anger. It's also important to remember that it's okay to express your anger, as long as it's done in a healthy and constructive way. Suppressing your anger or pretending it doesn't exist won't make it go away. In fact, it can often make it worse. Instead, find healthy outlets for your anger, such as physical activity or creative expression. And finally, remember to be patient with yourself. Change takes time, and managing your anger is no different. It's a journey, and there will be bumps along the way. But with commitment and the right strategies, it's a journey you can successfully navigate. While these strategies are effective, it's important to remember that managing anger is a journey. Did you know that anger, when controlled, can actually be a positive force in our lives? Yes, you heard that right. Controlled anger, when harnessed correctly, can lead to personal growth, improved relationships, and even a healthier mental state. Imagine anger as a fire. When it's out of control, it can cause untold damage, consuming everything in its path. But when it's controlled, it can provide warmth, light, and a means to cook food. Likewise, anger, when managed, can provide the spark that drives us forward, 
fuels our ambition and illuminates our path. So how can we make this transformation? It starts with acknowledging that anger is a normal human emotion. It's not inherently bad. What matters is how we handle it. Instead of letting it control us, we should strive to control it. This involves recognizing the signs of anger, understanding its triggers, and finding healthy outlets for it. Controlled anger can lead to personal growth. It can motivate us to stand up for ourselves, to fight against injustice, and to make positive changes in our lives. It can push us out of our comfort zones and drive us towards achieving our goals. Controlled anger can also improve relationships. It can lead to open and honest communication, helping us express our feelings and needs in a constructive manner. It can clear the air, resolve conflicts and strengthen bonds. Finally, controlled anger can contribute to a healthier mental state. It can help us manage stress, reduce feelings of helplessness and boost our self-esteem. Instead of suppressing our anger, we learn to express it in a controlled and constructive way. So let's stop viewing anger as an enemy and start seeing it as a potential ally. Let's learn to control it, harness its power, and use it as a force for good in our lives. Remember, the power to transform your anger is in your hands. It's not an easy journey, but it's one that's well worth the effort.